My daughter wanted a tablet to do time-lapse videography and other things, so we built a tablet out of the Odroid View 7. This one does have the UPS2 inside of it. The, uh, the switch to turn the, the entire unit on and off is right here. We've got the power jack here for recharging. The Odroid is also, um, you can see the lights on the Odroid itself, and deep inside there you can also see the Wi-Fi antenna. So the entire unit is all self-contained and touch compatible. So today we'll be showing how to do this. Welcome to the Ameridroid Mini Lab slash Electrical Closet. Today we'll be turning the Odroid View 7 and the Odroid C1 Plus into a tablet. Battery operated with Wi-Fi and a selection of 3D printed parts. These design files will be available in the description in links below. So the case goes together using these uh, standard number six screws from the hardware store. Of course, we could have used posts and spacers, but we didn't have the, all the right sizes on hand, so we used those instead. And we made our own spacers on the 3D printer. Those are sleeves that go around. So first of all, we'll start by putting on the front plate. Now these screws are a little bit tight on through the holes in the C1 and in the View 7 and they will cut their own threads but that's okay because it, it won't damage anything. Famous last words, right? these 10 millimeter spacers sleeves and I'll thread that in until it's just about coming out the other side now we're going to want to do the same thing on these other this hole we won't be using right now oh you'll find out why later this hole will do right now though all right so now that that's done we'll take the C1 and line up the mounting holes on the C1 with the mounting holes. On the tablet. Okay. Okay, now that we've got that started, we'll go ahead and connect to the HDMI Okay, so now I've repeated that process uh, for these three screws. And I've got these longer posts now that I will thread on to the screws. And this will keep the back plate at the right distance. All right, now that I've got the sleeves on, up on the back plate. This is the charging port and uh, that is for the battery backup which will be over on this side. So there is a groove right here. I'll place it in that groove. And this back plate, the notched back plate, is notched so that you can have easy access to the Ethernet and USB ports. This plate also has notches in it for accepting this side panel. Now comes time to install the UPS2 this is what will supply the battery power when the unit is unplugged. And I've replaced the lead that comes off of it with a um, 
a female plug jack so that we can power the Odroid from the header. Okay, so we got the battery UPS2 um, hooked up. We put in the new posts here and uh, just spacer posts here to keep it at an even distance from the back of the board here, plus the corner on this side. Now we take the lead, make sure the 5 volt is on number 4 and the black is on number 6 because that's 5 volt power and ground. Incidentally I reprinted the, um, the side panel here and um, I took off the back panel because it was a bit premature we needed to get this uh, hooked up first. And now it's time to put the other back plate on. All right, now before I do anything else, I'm going to attach or insert the um, Wi-Fi. So there you have it. Now it's time to test it. First, we flip the switch here. The light's blinking. Let's make sure that the screen's on. There we go. So you can you now have a hardware switch for the screen. Turns it off and on and a power switch on the side. So now we have a tablet. It's fully functional. One thing to note is that when you switch Android at least 4.4 .4 to 800 by 480, there is no way that I could find to shut it off easily. So I just downloaded a shutdown app which allows you to shut it down from an icon. That's it for our tablet.